I know nobody likes ads, but I really like this video's sponsor, Skillshare, because I can make a fool out of myself like this. Oi, tudo bem? Hola, como estás? Guten Tag, Fräulein! You may have noticed that I changed languages there. Pilots travel the world and despite what you might think, the rest of the world doesn't only speak English. You may need to show off your bilingual skills if you're going to those places. Skillshare is here to help. This month, I've been taking a Portuguese class by James Leisky and taking a deeper dive into the language. I know a lot already from speaking to my Brazilian girlfriend. However, I would not be able to pass a Portuguese grammar test to save my life. So it was time to learn and it's been great. And there are other languages on there too. It's not boring book learning. Skillshare has fun, dynamic video classes taught by interesting people who are there to assist you when you want to learn something new. With thousands of inspiring classes for you to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, you can learn about languages, arts, web design, video editing, and even aviation. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity wants to take you. I've got an offer for you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Give it a try. But for now, let's go on a trip. <laughs> Welcome back. Mm, it's great to not be back. Oh, it's great to be back. Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Ludix Aviation, Cessna 182 action today. We're going up to uh, St. Simon's Island, which is up in Georgia, we're down in Florida, it's going to take us about an hour and a half in this thing, 230 horsepower. I, I always make fun of the sky boats, uh, because they float for days. This thing is like a rock, but it cruises really nicely, I love flying this thing, so you'll never hear me say a bad word about the 182. So, there's been some debate, because uh, Bobette saw this and it's obviously Christmas because it's getting a little bit cold and it's coming out of Christmas time. Do you think it's got my face on it or do you think it's not got my face on it? Uh, I, I can't, I can't. Uh, you know, it's you, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, Merry Dixmas. Come on. Put off the red nose reindeer. Uh, let's go heading. You see, when you click that, you've got heading here. Yeah, like IAS, 65, uh, VNAV, vertical speed. You've got it here. Like these are all different settings for you to use, right? Uh, but you you you, you got to know how to use it. For example, in a climb, you could use vertical speed, but the higher you go, the less dense the air is. Blah 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 blah. Uh -huh. It's it's going to attempt to maintain the rate of climb that you did. So it's going to keep raising angle of attack until a point where it, it can't raise it anymore and we stall, right? Yeah. So that's why I never climb in vertical speed mode. I always climb in. Uh, IAS. So that, that, that's the key to it, knowing what to expect. Like we, we know we've got the heading mode set. So if we've got the heading mode set and we put the autopilot on, but the thing is all the way around here, you know it's going to start whipping it's it It's going to start whipping it around there. Yeah, so okay. always know what you've put in there and it's always down here. Now you see you've got the uh, flight director. Yeah. Whatever you set in here, even if you're flying it manually, whatever you set in here, it's going to, the flight director is going to guide you. So if you keep your thing on the flight director, that's what you're gonna keep. That's basically at the airline, that's that's all you did. Set up your automation and then fly the flight director. It's so simple. If you don't have it set up correctly and you get behind the plane, forget everything, click it off, hand fly it. Hand fly it, and, yeah. And reset. As far as the takeoff is concerned, right. it's let it come up, pitch for about 85, 90 knots. At 500 feet, what I do is I pull the manifold back to 23 yeah, and leave the RPM at 24. If you need to adjust it, just very small adjustments with this thing. Other than that, it's a glorified 172, <laughs> just a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go to Georgia, man. Let's see what happens, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I think, I mean, a lot of it, you just have to do it hands-on. and. Yeah, exactly. you you got to feel it. You're going to feel everything happen a little bit quicker. I like that. Um, so you got to be ahead of the game a little bit. You know, you're going from flying 160 horsepower engines to <laughs> 230. So let's do this. <laughs> All right, so four, four, four. Sure. Slowly give it. Dave. You're good. Keep it. Let it go. Let it go. Full power. Full throttle. It's going to maintain 20, uh, 24. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Welcome to the sky, mom. Yeah, that shit climbs, bro. Climbs, right? 
the right runner. <laughs> there you go. So now you've got 500 feet. So I don't so pulling that back to like 23. You don't need all this power to, to get over 1,000 feet per minute. There right you go. there. And then I can pull this back a bit. Leave that word. 658 left turn northwest down approved. Left turn northwest approved. Uh, 658. How do you feel? Nice. Six, one mile runway. Definitely comes out on you. Final yep. For runway uh, seven. And then what was the power setting that we were? Number two four six five eight. Uh, uh, just, uh, uh, disregard. Actually, you can continue northwest, man. Uh, continue. Disregard for six five eight. So yeah, so 23 and 23. 23, 23, make it up. Tower, medevac 655 Alpha Tango, visual 7. Medevac 655 Alpha Tango, executive tower. Right there, right. Runway 7, look for traffic, medevac 5 Alpha Tango. You see, even small adjustments really changes the right? Yeah. 1,300 feet, looking good. And then just give me a, like, climb checklist. So climb 85, 95. Yeah, but uh, cowl flaps. There you go. Open instruments, taxi landing light, throttle prop mixture, cowl flaps instruments. Yeah. All righty. Boom, boom, boom. Just the couple, you know, just, this is an extra. The cowl flaps is extra. The speed is extra. But other than that, pretty much the same procedure than the 172 that you've been doing. So uh, set your altitude to, to what we're doing because we're a little bit high. So like put it up to like 1400 on the altitude select. I guess that's just go. the easy way to do it. Hit heading, uh, heading select. There you go. And then you got to turn it on, right? Uh, so that's your flight director on. So hit uh, autopilot. And go hands off. So now you've got out green. Yeah. So now it's captured 1400. It's got the heading autopilots on. You sit back, relax. And monitor. You know, now we can we can climb to what? Uh, we could just go 35 for now. So Altitude, yeah. right? I could just go 35. 35. And then up, right? Well, if you just do that, it's going to give you a rate of climb. It's not going to give you a speed. So then I would just click uh, vertical speed. Click IAS, indicated airspeed. I'm sorry, not in I. Yep, 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 yep. right. So IAS, and then we could just go. And then you choose the airspeed that you want to climb at. Like 100? Yeah, like 100 is fine, but look at this. So it's all automatically doing it, but it's not. the power's not changed, right? Yeah, so then you have to manually then... you got to do it, so you got to go back to 24. Right there. So that would just be all the way in, pretty much. All right? the way in, and 23 on the, on that thing. And now you've set yourself up in a climb. So now it's going to autopilot itself up to 35. But the, the point that I'm trying to get at is if you didn't affect the change here with the, with the engine stuff... Yeah, you... It would just be like whoosh. exactly. It's going to struggle to get up there. The thing is with all, with the autopilot stuff, it's easy to set something and then just the thing. Okay, I'm, I'm done. If it's not doing what you want it to do, you've got to make the change. So as you gain altitude, you lose air pressure. So what's going to happen to your manifold gauge? It's going to keep dropping. It's going to keep dropping, right? Somewhere. So then you just keep increasing the power, exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. The boys got it. I see, and then that's the point of the constant speed prop, so your RPM stays the same. Exactly. The you go. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, like, right now, we're at 23. All we need to do is just pull the prop back to the 23, right? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yep. Nice Ooh. and easy. Yeah, Damn, I, I barely even pulled that shit. Uh, doesn't take much. Well, there you go. You got 23, 23. Yeah, right about Actually. there. Sorry, can I have that? Thank you. Actually, because, I mean, the 2323 is for 5,500 or, or 6,000 or whatever. Oh, so. yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I was looking at that. Not... See what it would be at 3,000. So you're going to do 23 RPM and 23 at like standard temperature. You're at 71 percent, uh, burning 11.9 gallons, 130 true airspeed. Recommended lean and uh, cowl flaps closed. So yeah, we're golden. Yeah, so once we're around that, we it's pretty much straight shot to uh, SSI. By the way, we were we were planning on going to a place called Southern Soul Barbecue, which if you're a pilot and you're around these parts then you should not sudden the soul today's a tuesday we found out it's closed on tuesdays so what, what business is closed on a tuesday that's what i want to know i've never in my life have seen a restaurant say oh we're closed on we're tuesdays, closed on tuesdays. Here. i'm pissed <laughs> <laughs> me and lynn were talking to like midnight last night just like going off but we're still gonna go up there like, like damn it we had it we're still we're going. still going there. That's Southern Soul is not <laughs> getting us down. Yeah, it's not the be all end all. Technically, look at this. The RPM can go down to 22, and you can have 23 on the manifold and still be getting 
70% uh, power. So just so you can see, you can bring the uh, the RPM back to 22 and, f and feel the difference or hear the difference. So nice, nice and easy. So you got 23, 22. You hear it like you can hear it, right? Exactly. The the change in here is like two knots. Yeah. So like, what's the uh, fuel burn chain? It's 12. It goes down by 4. 0.4. I mean, now we're slowing down a bit. So like exactly. 100. Yeah. Exactly. So if we're at 23, 23. If you're 24, 23. Go to a 2400 on the RPM. See what it's like in in the cruise. But you get 76 at 136. True airspeed. 130. Well, 76. Yeah, I mean, 76 isn't bad. 135. Yeah, we're faster than what we were before. There you go. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, there we go. We're on course. Uh, I'm going to turn the cameras off for a while because this is going to get boring. All right, boys and girls, we'll, we'll see you in a little bit when something cool is happening. All right, bye. Bye-bye. First officer speaking from the flight deck. Uh, we are 23 miles from St. Simon's Island. Uh, it's going to take us about uh, 11 minutes to uh, to get down uh, down there. Beautiful day down in St. Simon's. Calm winds, just about uh, five knots out of the northwest. Uh, with a temperature of uh, around about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Hope you brought your cooler weather clothes, not your speedos, like the captain. Oh, <laughs> thank you for choosing uh, Dick's Bob Airways. <laughs> <laughs> Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for arrival, thanks. Cool man, I'm interested to see how this landing goes, boys and girls. First time landing a uh, heavier bird. I mean, but I, I always, we always bitch about the float and the flight and, and that, so, right? Yeah, so yeah. shouldn't it be more of like an actual just landing? It should, yeah, you'll be able to stick this one. Yeah. It's not gonna float, it's not gonna float on you, especially with full flaps. So, that's what we're gonna hope. Yeah. Uh, what runway are we gonna use? Just use 3-4 then you, at this point. You wanna hop in the left downwind for it? Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll hop in the left downwind. St. Simon's traffic, uh, Skyline 2465, right 10, uh, sorry, 11 miles to the south, gonna be uh, setting up left downwind for uh, runway 3-4, St. Simon's. Gotcha. Uh, St. Simon's, uh, Skyline 2465, left downwind 3-4, Alright, so gas both undercarriage, down locked, full rich, props forward. There you go. Cool. Cool, sir. Cool. Alright, so I guess what you pull it back to? Like 17 or so. No, no, no. Just, just, the, just the, the throttle. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. So then we'll do one notch. St. Simon traffic, Spanish clear, all from St. Simon. We're going to start it. Oh, nah. St. Simon's, uh, Sky 24658, left base, 3-4, St. Simon's. Yeah, kind of feel it out. It's a heavier bird. You're going to need to come in with a little bit of power to stop the sink. Yeah, I, re I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that gumps check, quick. All right, gas both. Undercarriage not locked. Full rich, props forward. Kind of all over the place, I'm sorry. That's all right, it's your first time doing it, right? Yeah. St. Simon's traffic, Skyline 24658, final, 3-4 is full stop, St. Simon's. That's that drop. Right there, yeah, I feel that. Uh -huh. You know, we're at 70 right there, so... Oh yeah, you got it. Oh, oh. young Bob, ah! young Bob. 
Mike Trolls. Your controls. Mike Trolls. Your controls. Your controls. Showtime, brother. Hey, Bob, you want to slow down? <laughs> Sorry, can't this do is this. Absolutely diabolical behavior. And that's staying in. You did me dirty last time. I'm doing you dirty again. <laughs> The bathrooms they're clean they're clean nice. yeah i'll give them a 10 out of 10 for sure very good that's a good that's a good yeah, there's experience a there's a shower yeah it's well now it is yeah oh it's like a proper it's like a house bobette uh drove last time we got a crew car over in uh, tallahassee and uh, nearly put me through the side window so she ain't touching these <laughs> in her defense she said lewis put on your seatbelt and you said seatbelt no that's and then not she said again put on a seatbelt that doesn't sound like something that i would do that I doesn't sound like me all i know is you did you did smack that window pretty well. <laughs> i've still got the residual effects <laughs> we'll just let the people know that you ain't touching the crew car you didn't wear your seatbelt the last time that was your fault the, the lies being spread over it and let's go and get some food <laughs> you've been here before yeah well many times i've been Smacked into the side of a window before. You so. didn't wear a seatbelt. I stop lying. I'm not lying. What kind of car is it though? Uh, it looks like a Volkswagen. Just want everyone to see seatbelt. I got mine on. I've not hit the window just yet, so still time though. Can I can I go on a tangent like him? Yes. He's a f***ing piece of shit sometimes, and I hate this kid. So <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't be me. I, I really I think that's. Funny. No, that was pretty. That was pretty up there. Um, that was fine. Well, do you see the difference is your body hasn't come close to that window as of yet. So I'm wearing a seatbelt. It's because there's a cop right in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Dusky shark. Oh, man. Neil Humans. What a guy. Legendary fisherman. This pier was built in uh, what? It was built in 1946. So 19 had, uh, uh, when they started the town up, they uh, were fishing a lot. Right. So a group of people got together. Yeah. So this far end of the pier was actually built in 1956 right. as an add-on to the uh, the pier. The no drone sign was actually an addition in the 60s uh, yep. when drones first became popular. There's a there's a measuring thing here. Not entirely sure the low position what you're going to be measuring there, but fish some people say. But if you come here at night, it's a different story. I I can't comment on that. I, 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 but what I know is that he's a fervent believer in the transatlantic uh, alliance. Barbara Jeans. Barbara Jeans, here we go. Yee yee. Barbara Jeans. Looks pretty good. That yeah, does look pretty good. The I'm table excited. comes with the three fly eyes as well. Fun fact about Barbara Jeans they love the natural beauty and quality of life that defines their summer islands. The owners. Jim and Barbara, they forged a path. They launched conservation. Yeah. Barbara Jeans. But do they have a measuring tape? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gingerbread man just, just, just inside me. But it's cake. That's. Sorry. <laughs> I went for a salad, healthy, you got some chicken or whatever, there we go, sure, the, the lovely happy couple sharing food, she got some chicken and half of a pickle, lovely stuff, thanks a lot. Eventually. Alright, well bet paid, um, so if we had to give this place a rating out of uh, 10, what would we be giving it? Because we did that last time for the flag work. So are we going to split it up this time, like atmosphere, interior, and no, it's not that deep, it's an aviation video on YouTube, like, 
Okay, <laughs> wrong button. Just give it a rating out of 10. Did you enjoy the food? Yes. Yes, yeah, so you enjoyed the food. So if you have to give the food a rating out of 10, 8. what would you give it? 8.5. 8.5. Oh, interesting. What did I give the last place? You gave the last place a 7. I think I went to 8.5. Eight 8.5 eight five as well. Right. I'd like to. It was good. It was good. It was good. So I want to try, I want to come back and try some other stuff. All right. I'm giving it a 7. You had a salad. Because right, I always <laughs> <okay, laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> Anyway, let's... Uh, Let's get back to the airport and wrap this video up. We're, we're back at the plane. We came up to St. Simon's Island in Georgia. Young Bob. Yeah. Uh, come here. Your first experience in uh, high performance aircraft. How, how, how was it for you? It was pretty good. You definitely feel the change of power. But like like I was telling him, first time I was ever in a 172, I was like, damn, this thing got power. And then now it's like, this thing is like a moped. <laughs> so it's like, you know, every time you just got to get reaccustomed to the power exactly so, every step a couple up. flights and then it'll be like ah nothing exactly yeah right but like definitely the first one or two times like stuff comes up a little faster but like in the pattern it wasn't crazy right it wasn't nothing crazy yeah yeah i, I think overall you did did a, a very good job coming out of orlando there was a, a like we came up on the altitude pretty quickly or i saw you kind of realize that yeah. but i mean you've had no problems flying this thing like controlling it doing your autopilot stuff the, the automation and all that so yeah uh, we're all proud of you, man. Thank you. We're all very... <laughs> all right, boys and girls. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed already. So we're going to fly back to Orlando. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you on the next one. Merry Dixmas.